you like to travel to Iran, but you are still in doubt? Or do you have some concerns to have to travel to Iran or not? In this video, I tell you some important things you should know before you travel to Iran. So stay with us. My name is Sajad and you are watching Sajad and Farin channel. The first question is, is Iran safe to travel or not? Most people who decided to travel to Iran had this question. Okay. Uh, unlike the negative propaganda of the Western uh, media, Iran is absolutely safe. Iran is like a safe island in the Middle East. There was no a single tourist attack was reported in Iran in a widespread, I mean. And you can ask the tourists who have traveled to Iran before. So Iran is so safe. You don't need to worry about everything. You can walk in the streets all around the night and day. So the first tip is the safety and Iran is absolutely safe and you don't need to worry about everything here. Number two, accommodation in Iran. The accommodation situation in Iran is a question that's so important for tourists. You should know so many people in small towns or villages rent their house to tourists. And Iran has lots of hotels in touristy cities almost. Uh, four or five stars hotel, four star hotels, and three star. And recently, lots of historical hotels and boutique hotels or ecologies are opened in some uh, in deserts, in villages, in cities. So, you shouldn't be worried about accommodation in Iran. Uh, you have lots of choices. And the good thing is, it's very cheap. Okay, before I tell the number three, we should know that Iran has very good tour guides and tour leaders. So, trust them. They make it easier for you and you, sh and you will enjoy more in Iran. Okay, number three. Internet. Do I have an access in internet in Iran? This is a very important question. Again, unlike the negative uh, media in the Western country, Iran has a very good internet access and very fast, almost everywhere. So you can buy a SIM card when you arrive in Iran at airport. It's about less than $15. You can have a SIM card and on the, on the roads, in everywhere, everywhere in Iran, just some uh, very high lands if you, if you are climbing from mountains or in the valleys or narrow gorges, just there. But the other parts, you have internet. And also, if your hotel, all hotels have Wi-Fi internet in Iran, so you don't need to worry about this. You have access in internet everywhere in Iran. Number four, Iranian money system. It's a little bit complicated in Iran. First of all, you should know you can pay euro or dollar uh, when you take a taxi or when you buy something in bazaar. But it's better to change your money to real. You can do it at airport when you arrive Ika airport in Iran or every airport in Iran has an exchange office 
or you can do it at hotels, but I recommend to not do it at hotels. You can, you, you can ask your guide or you can search on your maps for exchange, exchange offices uh, in the town which you are in. So, I want to show you Iranian bills. Iran has two currencies, official currency and unofficial currency. The official currency is real. So when you have an Iranian bill, it says 500,000 real. So, you know, too many zeros, but it's not very complicated. Um, now they are, they are changing this system. As you see, they are going to remove four zeros, but for now, it still has too many zeros. So this one, which is about 1.5 euros, uh, it says 500,000 reals. So if you remove one zero, it became uh, 50,000 uh, 50, Tuman. So when it has uh, five zeros, it's 500,000. When it has four zeros, take, take it, it's became 50,000 Tuman. But the official currency is real. So for example, this one, this note has five zeros and it's 500,000 real, which is now, I don't know, tomorrow or later. It's approximately 1.5 euros. So, uh, this is the most common note in Iran right now. And it's better to change your money and, expend, uh, and spend uh, real in Iran. It's better for you and uh, you can exchange it again when you want to leave the country. It's, it's completely uh, possible and you don't need to worry about it. Number five, cultural taboos in Iran. Iranian people, like everywhere in the world, needs to be respected. So, gazing to someone uh, a, a man or a woman, it's not polite. And uh, Iran is an uh, Islamic country, and so many people, especially in the small towns and villages, are uh, more conservative and uh, the respect to their religion. So, shaking hand men with women uh, it's not allowed it. or kissing and uh, have a hug a man with a woman it's not a polite move in Iran and uh, it's against our religion so uh, uh, of course I should say that um, a couple which a husband and wife or a sister and a brother it's uh, absolutely fine if they shake their hands or uh, take their hands or have a hug but uh, as in a strange you can't kiss someone else or take or shake his hands and have a hug so it's the most important thing about culture of Iran you should know